The history of country music from Jimmy Rogers to George Strait, starring Jake Penrod, is a unique musical journey spanning more than 80 years. Mr. Penrod's narrative, his vocal interpretations of the classic songs, as well as his performance on guitar, piano, fiddle, and steel guitar are spellbinding. Following are brief excerpts from the one hour and 15 minute program. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jake Penrod. Thank you. Talk about Jimmy Rogers. He's a man that's called the father of country music. He, a young man from Meridian, Mississippi. He worked as a water boy on the railroad when he was a young man, and as a brakeman as he grew older. He was exposed at an early age to singing and the playing of the hobos and railroad workers, notably the black musicians whose melodies would inspire some of his greatest compositions. At age 27, he contracted tuberculosis, which temporarily ended his railroad career, but gave him the opportunity to work as an entertainer. The disease would ultimately take his life in 1933 at the age of 35. But his legacy of recorded music provided a foundation for later performers such as Ernest Tubb, Hank Snow, Lefty Frizzell, just to name a few. Country music has long been revered for the truth in its lyrics, no matter how sad or downright blunt it might be. And Jimmy left us one song in particular that epitomizes this idea. TB Blues was recorded in San Antonio, Texas, January 31st, 1933. And Jimmy's recording borders on disturbing as he delivers the lyrics with the conviction that only a dying man could feel. And it doesn't get any more real than this. My good gal's trying to make a fool out of me. Lord, my gal's trying to make a fool out of me. Trying to make me believe I ain't got that old TB. So I got the TB balloon. Thank you. Thank you. One of the first big stars of the Grand Ole Opry and the first to claim the title of the king of country music was Roy Acuff. He was known for a very unique style of singing. It didn't matter if you were on the front row or in the back of the balcony. When Roy Acuff sang a song, you heard him. What a beautiful thought I am thinking Concerning a great speckled bird Remember her name is recorded On the pages of God's holy word On the wings of that great speckled bird Thank you. One of the first groups to gain renown in country music was the Sons of the Pioneers. Performing predominantly cowboy music, the Sons of the Pioneers romanticized the Old West with songs about cattle drives and campfires and the occasional gunfight. The tradition of cowboy music is carried on thanks to artists such as Roy Rogers, a founding member of the Pioneers, Gene Autry, Tex Ritter, and even modern artists such as Chris Ledoux, Garth Brooks, and George Strait. This song, written by Bob Nolan, is probably the most recognizable in the song, and the Sons of the Pioneers catalog, and it's been covered by countless artists and recorded several times by the Pioneers themselves. One of my personal favorites, by the way. All day I faced a barren waste without the taste of water. Cool water, cool, clear water. I've often said the most important figure, figure in modern country music is Ernest Tubb. Ernest was a Jimmy Rogers protege in his early years, and his first records sound almost as if Jimmy had recorded them himself. But a tonsillectomy in 1939 forever changed his singing style, and in 1940 he emerged with a song that would launch him into stardom for the rest of his life. You left me and you went away 
you said that you'd be back in just a day You broke down your promise and you left me here alone I don't know why you did, dear, but I do know that you're gone I'm walking the floor over you I can't sleep a wink, that is true I'm hoping and I'm praying as my heart breaks right in two Walking the floor over you Thank you. Now the title King of Country Music has often been disputed and many have claimed and reclaimed the title but the one and only undisputed King of Western Swing is the legendary Bob Wills. Bob is credited with creating the genre, drawing from Dixieland, jazz, rhythm and blues, Tin Pan Alley, minstrel and folk music. As a young man he played the fiddle at barn dances and developed the showmanship that launched him into superstardom. He enlisted the best of the musicians that he could find in the world famous band the Texas Playboys. He made a point of calling each soloist by name on stage and on record, making superstars out of the likes of Leon McAuliffe, Herb Remington, Millard Kelso, Al Strickland, and Eldon Shamblin, just to name a few. As I look at the letters that you wrote to me, is you that I am thinking of. As I read the lines that to me were so dear I remember our faded love With every heartbeat I still think of you And remember our faded love Whether you love bluegrass or you're among those, like me, who believes a little goes a long way, you can't deny Bill Monroe's contribution to country music. He and his band, the Bluegrass Boys, brought the folk music of his native Kentucky to the forefront, adding his signature high lonesome sound and created a genre that's still widely popular today. Blue moon of Kentucky, keep on shining. Shine on the one that's gone and proved untrue Blue moon of Kentucky, keep on shining Shine on the one who's gone and left me blue Now with the advent of the rockabilly movement, a young man that Mr. Perryman is familiar with, Elvis Presley, re-recorded this song and much to everyone's surprise, Bill Monroe liked what Elvis did to it, so he took his own song, re-recorded it, and this is the version everybody plays today. I said, blue moon of Kentucky, keep on shining. Shine on the one who's gonna let me blue. Blue moon of Kentucky, keep on shining. Shine on the one who's gonna prove it untrue. Well, it was on the moon at night. The stars shining bright And you whispered from on high Your love said goodbye Blue moon of Kentucky Keep on shining Shine on the one who's gone And left me blue Shine on the one who's gone And left me blue Thank you Probably the most iconic figure in all of country music and my per personal favorite was Hank Williams. Hank was the first to become what we now call a superstar. He had more charisma and charm on stage than anybody had ever seen at the time. He had a style that was a mix of Roy Acuff's hollering delivery and Ernest Tubbs phrasing and blues nuances he had picked up listening to street musicians as a kid growing up on the streets of Montgomery, Alabama. Hank was thin and frail, but he sang with this huge voice that seemed to come out of nowhere. His rise to fame was slow to start, but he emerged with a song in 1949 that forever changed the course of country music. I got a feeling called the blues, oh Lord, since my baby said goodbye. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing, all I do is sit inside, oh Lord, that last long day 
she said goodbye Well, Lord, I thought I would cry She'd do me, she'll do you She's got the kind of loving Lord, I love to hear her when she called me sweet daddy Such a beautiful dream I've grown so used to you somehow But I'm nobody sugar daddy now And I'm lonesome I got the lovesick blues Thank you. Hank Williams lived what they now call the ultimate rock star life. Just a kid in his 20s, he was the biggest star the country music world had ever seen. He drove Cadillacs, wore outlandish tailor-made western suits, custom-made boots, and jewelry. Women would scream and faint when he took the stage, and country music had literally never seen anything like him before. But underneath the flash and flame, there was a human being who lived, breathed, and hurt just like the rest of us. And at age 29, he died. His songs are considered among the greatest ever written, and this one is, illustrates just how human he really was. It was one of his most heartfelt and certainly one of his most well-known. Your cheating heart will make you weep. You'll cry and cry and try to sleep. But sleep won't come the whole night through your cheating heart will tell on you thank you In 1951, the only artist with as many records on the jukeboxes as Hank Williams was a young guy from Corsicana, Texas named Lefty Frizzell. Lefty was a one-of-a-kind singer whose unique phrasing shaped the future of country music by influencing such legendary entertainers as Merle Haggard, Keith Whitley, John Anderson, and Joe Nichols. He could sing a whole scale on just one syllable and make it sound as natural as speaking. Very few artists have sung with such sincerity as Lefty Frizzell with this song from 1951. I love you, I'll prove it in days to come. I swear it's true, darling, you're the only one. I think of you, of the past, and all our fun I love you I'll prove it in days to come You're my darling You've been true I should have been good to you You're the one that's in my heart While we're apart I'll be true, I'll prove it to you someday I love you, I'll prove it a thousand ways Thank you a close friend to Hank Williams and one of the first of many artists to emulate his style was Ray Price. Ray toured with members of Hank's Drifting Cowboys after Hank's passing, and his early records sound very much like Hank. But Ray broke through with his own signature sound that would put him on the map as an innovator in country music. He recorded a song in 1956 that established a format known as the Shuffle, one of the most distinctive sounds in honky-tonk music still popular today. Now blue ain't the word for the way that I feel and a storm brewing in this heart of mine this ain't no crazy dream I know that it's real you're someone else's love now you're not mine Crazy arms that reach to hold somebody new 
That's why I'm lonely all the time. Thank you. In the latter part of the 1960s, Ray began recording with string ensembles, adding lush orchestral arrangements to his once twangy records. He was met with opposition in Nashville and once joked that they liked to run me out of town. But Ray knew what he was doing and stuck to his guns and created some of the most memorable music in his repertoire. A personal favorite is this one from 1970, written by Chris Christopherson. Don't look so sad I know it's over But life goes on And this old world Will keep on turning Let's just be glad We had some time To spend together Make believe you love me one more time for the good times <laughs> arguably the greatest voice in all of country music belonged to the legendary George Jones his early influences included Bob Wills, Hank Williams, and Lefty Frizzell, but he emerged with a song in 1955 that sounded unlike anything his contemporaries were recording. The song would be his first hit song and pave the way for a string of hits that would span over five decades, something that is unheard of today. Tell me why, baby, why, baby, why, baby, why you make me cry, baby, cry, baby, cry, baby, cry. Can't help but love you till the day that I die So tell me why, baby, why, baby, why, baby, why Tell me why, baby, why, baby, why, baby, why Thank you. Well, like few artists before and since him, George Jones enjoyed success late in his career. He celebrated his 10th number one hit in 1980, 25 years after releasing Why, Baby, Why. It's been considered by many to be the greatest country song ever written, and I think everybody would agree it's probably the saddest. He said, I love you till I die. She told him you forget in time. As the years went slowly by, she still preyed upon his mind. He kept her picture on his wall Went half crazy now and then He still loved her through it all Hoping she'd come back again He stopped loving her today They placed a wreath upon his door And soon they'll carry him away He stopped loving her today Thank you. You do a... Uh... About a three or four hour program just based on the contributions Willie Nelson alone has made to country music. He's one of the first to challenge and defy the norms of the accepted country music format, incorporating blues and jazz motifs when country music was, for lack of a better term, square. He's remained a relevant figure in the genre longer than any other artist, and at over 80 years old, he's still going strong. His unique singing style Landed him in a category all his own, encompassing blues, jazz, country, and even a little reggae, if you can believe it. He's a legendary entertainer with a list of hit records as tall as I am, and I'd like to do one of the greatest songs Willie ever wrote. This was made famous by the legendary Patsy, Patsy Klein, covered by countless artists. It's called Crazy. I'm crazy for crying, and crazy for trying, and I'm crazy for loving.
Fair warning, if there is a concert violinist in the audience, you will be offended. <laughs> I'm not, I'm barely a fiddle player, much less a violinist. I'm not a virtuoso by any means, but I kind of understand this thing and I wanted to highlight something. There's a, a, a very unique brand of country music from Louisiana that has a special place in my heart. It was created by descendants of French Canadian settlers and its elements can still be found in popular country music today. Traditional Cajun music is still played in parts of southern Louisiana where it seems to have been perfectly preserved over the decades. And one of the defining characteristics of Cajun music is the unique style of fiddle playing associated with the genre. Cajun fiddle playing incorporates the use of double stops, uh, which is two notes at the same time, uh, and ornamentation such as turns and grace notes and basically just extra stuff that you don't really need. But it sure is pretty. Cajun music has kept intact the tradition of theme and variation. Now, this is a European innovation of playing a main theme or a melody in its entirety and then adding a variation. So I'm gonna do a song that we like to do on all our dances that we play around the state. And uh, this is called Jolie Blonde. Now, the unofficial official instrument of country music seems to be the guitar. Uh, Jimmy Rogers, and I think that's his picture right there, if y'all can see from there. Uh, Jimmy Rogers was one of the first to have a signature guitar with his name on the fretboard. And there are countless entertainers whose guitars are as recognizable as their names, the most famous probably being Willie Nelson. But there's a handful of country entertainers over the years who have captivated audiences from the comfort of a piano bench. Uh, perhaps a forgotten figure in country music is the great Moon Mulligan. Nicknamed the king of the hillbilly piano players, Moon was one of the first artists the, of the honky-tonk era, post-war, that is, to incorporate the piano in his work. And his piano playing can be heard on countless records, notably that of Ernest Tubb, who revered Mulligan among all other pianists. Moon's hillbilly boogie style was an early predecessor to rockabilly, and many of his songs were later reworked into rockabilly records. I think Tom will remember this. Tom played this on the radio this morning, if y'all were listening. Sweethearts for so long, but now you say we're through. The love we shared is now a memory. I had built a ship of dreams and planned them all for you. But now I guess what is to be will be. I'll sail my ship alone with all the dreams I own. Drifting out across the ocean blue I'll sail my ship along Though all the sails you've torn When it starts to sink then I'll blame you Thank you. That's roughly how Moon Mulligan played the piano. Uh, now Jerry Lee Lewis made his name as one of the forefathers of rock and roll. He named Moon Mulligan among his heroes, and you can hear Moon's boogie-woogie influence in Jerry's playing. But there's also a hint of rhythm and blues and southern gospel in Jerry's music. His rock and roll career was sidelined after a scandal surrounding his marriage to his very young cousin. But 10 years later, he emerged with a new country sound that scored hit after hit. It's late, and she's waiting, and I know home but every time I start to leave they play another song then someone buys another round and wherever drinks are free what's made Milwaukee famous has made a fool out of me what's made Milwaukee Thank 
Thank you. It's almost over. I just got one more song to do on this thing. Now, Ronnie Millsap is an artist's artist. Born almost totally blind and enduring a heartbreaking childhood, Ronnie became one of the biggest stars in the world. With 40 number one hits, Ronnie is also the most successful crossover recording artist in the history of country music, enjoying much success in the pop field while maintaining the devotion of his many loyal country fans. At five o'clock she knows I'll soon be home And she don't worry about me running round But all of my good times are waiting right there for me And she knows where I'll be when the sun goes down I'm a stand by my woman man I'm a stand by my woman man. Thank you. This is my favorite instrument over here. Now many, a lot of people agree that the defining sound in country music is a steel guitar. And while its origins are believed to be Hawaiian, the crying sound of a steel guitar is a perfect accompaniment to every sad country song ever written. There are more legendary steel players than I really have time to mention tonight, and if I try to list any of them, I'll, I'll leave out some of the most important. So two come to mind simply because they're among the most imitative, imitated of all steel guitarists. Now, Don Helms is the man behind the sound that made Hank Williams famous. Uh, Don recorded on every Hank Williams record from 1950 until the very end, and he went on to record with Ray Price, the Wilburn Brothers, Patsy Cline, Johnny Horton, Jerry Reed, Stonewall Jackson, and Loretta Lynn, countless others. He was one of Hank's best friends, and in his later years, he would play this song in memory of Hank, and uh, he'd play it in memory of the Drifting Cowboy band members who had passed on before him. And I'd like to play it now for Don. The second steel guitarist I'll mention is the legendary Buddy Emmons. Now, the guitar I'm sitting right here with right now is a Buddy Emmons design. Everything about it, the tuning, the number of strings, and even the function of the pedals were all innovated by Buddy. Uh, even the name Show Bud, uh, I know you all can't see the name from here. The, the guitar is called a Show Bud. The show was for Shot Jackson and the Bud was for Buddy Emmons. And he'll go down in history as the greatest steel player in the world. His technique was unmatched after all he invented the instrument as we know it today. He passed away just a short time ago, and I joined the many steel players all over the world in tearful remembrance of the man they called the Big E. Now, I can't come close to Buddy's playing, uh, but I'd like to play this one in Buddy's memory. Johnny Cash is one of the largest figures in the music world, let alone country music. His distinctive sound was attributed to his band of non-professional musicians. 
His deep baritone voice and choice of black attire gave him a larger-than-life persona that many have tried to imitate. He seemed to connect personally with everyone in his audience, and he's loved and revered for his ability to deliver a song as though he were singing directly to you. His career spanned nearly 50 years, and his music remain, remains culturally relevant still today. Now, I'm not going to sound anything like Johnny Cash, but I'm going to do his greatest hit. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine I keep my eyes wide open all the time I keep the ends out for the tie that binds Because you're mine I walk the line I keep the ends out for the tie that binds Because you're mine I walk the line Thank you. Waylon Jennings' unique brand of country music was heavily influenced by his time spent as a member of Buddy Holly's band, The Crickets, with a slight tilt toward rock and roll, but with a twangy guitar sound that was undeniably country. He was a central figure in the outlaw movement, and his album, Wanted, The Outlaws, was country music's very first certified platinum album. Waylon was literally the biggest thing to hit Nashville since Hank Williams. Well, I hope that the friend you've thrown yourself with gets drunk and loses his job And that the road you're traveling on gets dusty, rocky, and hard I couldn't make you love me, you only made me blue So all in all, if the curtain should fall, well, I hope that it falls on you I will have sweet, sweet, sweet middle revenge. Thank you. In the 1960s, Nashville was opting for a smoother sound with subdued steel guitars and the fiddles were replaced with violins. Now physically, there's no difference between the instruments, but you can hear it. Uh, then out of Bakersfield, California, there came a new class of entertainers who took the country music world by storm. With just a hint of rock and roll, the Bakersfield sound emerged with loud twangy guitars, a prominent drum beat, and a dance rhythm that had been all but lost in popular country music. Ushering in this new sound were artists such as Wynn Stewart, Tommy Collins, Buck Owens, and probably one of the greatest of all time, Merle Haggard. Each night I leave the barroom when it's over not feeling any pain in closing time But tonight your memory found me much too sober I couldn't drink enough to keep you off my mind Tonight the bottle, tonight the bottle Tonight the bottle let me down Merle survived the craze and the crash of the Bakersfield sound and carried his music into the urban cowboy era of the late 70s and early 80s. This song is still a crowd favorite at honky tonks and dance halls everywhere and still fills the dance floor every time. Silver wings shining in the sunlight, roaring engines headed somewhere in fly. They're taking you away and leaving me lonely. Silver wings. Slowly fading out of sight Silver wings Slowly fading out of sight Thank you. 
A young singer from Kentucky took his bluegrass roots and his love for Lefty Frizzell's music and became country music's most promising star. Keith Whitley emerged as a major artist in 1986 and charted 19 hits on Billboard's country charts before his untimely death in 1989. 19 hits in three years. Today's country artists grew up hearing Keith Whitley on the radio. Many of them cite him as one of their greatest influences. And as a result, Keith's music continues to remain popular over 25 years after his death. I know you love him A long time ago Even now in my arms You still want him, I know But darling, this time that your memories die When you hold me tonight Don't close your eyes Just hold me tight When you love me tonight And don't close your eyes Emerging from the honky-tonks and dance halls of Texas in the early 1980s, George Strait has become one of the largest superstars the world of country music has ever seen. His classic, classic approach of stand and sing delivery is reminiscent of the forefathers who made this genre great. His inclusion of cover songs by past legends is indicative of his love and respect for the genre. He has recorded and charted hits by Fred Rose, Bob Wills, Hank Williams, Mel Street, George Jones, and Bill Mack, just to name a few. After over 30 years of performing, he still draws record crowds at enormous venues and has one of the most loyal fan bases in the country. His music encompasses an array of styles from early cowboy ballads to western swing, blues, honky-tonk, all the way to the modern sounds of today. With new releases as recent as this year, George Strait looks as if he'll be making country music history for a long, long time to come. There's the credits roll, a sad song starts to play. This is where the cowboy rides away Oh, the last goodbyes the hardest one to say This is where the cowboy rides away Thank you. Mr. Jake Pinrod.